What's going on guys, Andy here, G4 Outdoors, and today we are getting the G4 Outdoors tracker set up for our fishing trip to Grove, Oklahoma. We're gonna be going to Grand Lake doing some fishing. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Oh God, I almost fell. Let's get into that. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together And we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats From review videos to just making you laugh Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting We got everything you like, so hit that subscribe button We're in the outdoors, doing things that we love We're talking guitars, girls, green grass, and guns If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button please go ahead and do that because YouTube funds these fishing trips and our fishing habits. So it would help us out greatly if you hit that subscribe button. One of the first things we did is we went ahead and greased all the hubs. So everything's all greased up, ready to go. We're gonna be checking tire pressure, making sure that stuff's all set to go for the travels. We changed the lower gear lubricant for the Merc 150 and we also changed the oil in the Merc 150, so that's all good to go. Right now, Randy's getting rigged up. It's nice to get rigged up before you go, because when you get out there on the water, it's the last thing you want to do is do all this stuff. Especially when they're hitting right when you get out there and you're not ready. So we're gonna be rigging up. As you can see with the power cord, we also got the boat charging. Uh, we will have power down there on Grand Lake as well, so we can charge that as well, so. We're just getting everything charged up now. And hopefully while we're down there, we can get you guys a lot of videos. We plan on doing some cat fishing for sure, uh, minnow fishing for crappie and what else bites, and getting into the white bass. So, should definitely have some videos coming fishing wise. Also just putting new batteries in the Frabill 13 quart bait station. This thing came in really handy last year. I'm excited to use it again this year. It's a hundred bucks. But I think it's kind of worth the investment, especially if you're fishing with minnows a lot. Just takes two D cell batteries. It's got a little bait ba basket in here. Review coming soon on that. But yeah, nice little unit. You got there a bunch of junk string? Uh, I think so. I think that uh, the string's ran its course. Three years old. Yeah. It just breaks. That's not good. So luckily we have a 10 pound, 300 yard spider wire. Is that a braid? Yeah. It's good stuff. The price of those has come way down. I remember when spider wire first came out, it was gold. Just paying for that name. And we got rods and reels everywhere, so it's kind of hard to figure out what you want to take, you know. So it looks like the plan is to have a couple catfish rods in the boat. One set up for crappie jigs, one set up for minnows, and one set up for uh, rooster tails for white bass. That's probably going to be the go-to. crowded in here. See what I got going on in my rod locker here. Looks like a mess. We'll figure it out. Well, after sifting through all that, it looks like there's only one I need to set up. I need to set this one up for minnows, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, I don't have a ton of space in my locker and it's kind of trash, but I do have my minnow box. Scissors, when you're dealing with braid, very important that you invest in a decent pair of scissors. 
don't know if you can see it or not, but now I got these little tiny octopus hooks. They're a little bit offset. I like using these for minnow fishing a lot, especially because of the offsetness to them. I don't know if that makes sense, offsetness to them, but you get the idea. One of the cool features to this boat is having the dual rod blockers. That way Randy's able to have his stuff in one position. I'm able to have my stuff in one position. Everything's not getting all jumbled together. So uh, I do shout out Tracker for that one thing, but there's a lot of other things on this boat that I do not shout Tracker out on. So we may have another video on an update on this boat while we're out there and maybe talk about some of the cons to this boat. So stay tuned for that video. So I did bring one rod and reel combo from home. I wanted to bring, uh, not necessary. Obviously I have enough, but I think I'm just going to put an open swivel on this one. That way I can just hook on whatever I want to, whether it's a rooster tail. Uh, this does have braid on it. Crankbaits anything so i think that's what i'm gonna do well i think we're all rigged up everything's good to go got our stuff for crappie got our stuff for catfish got our stuff for white bass uh what else do we need to put on here we got a big cooler we got to put on here uh the minnow bucket the frat bill 13 quart or 13 gallon whatever it is i don't think it's gallons probably quarts um, we got to put that on here. I got to remember to grab my Bubba blade. I think, I think we're pretty much set up for the boat as far as the boat goes. I think we're all set up and ready to go. Can you think of anything else? All right, guys, just a short little video getting rigged up and ready for the trip. If you guys have any videos you want us to shoot while we're down there, whether it's fishing, stuff about the boat, stuff about the Garmin Live Scope, any of that stuff, leave it down in the comments. Let us know. We're trying to get as much content as possible while we're down there. So we're going to be doing a lot of fishing, obviously. But if there's anything you can think of that you would like a video on, leave it down in the comments below, and we'll try to get to that for sure. Like always, guys, hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below, like I said. Hit the subscribe button. It definitely helps us out getting these videos to you guys so you can continue to watch them. Uh, that's about it, man. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water. Later. Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my workday. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out.